So hey, what's up? Before proceeding, there's something really important. This is about the arguments for the thunks or the the function that returns a promise that you pass to the create async thunk. So it can accept arguments and it actually accepts two arguments. The first thing is everything you pass to it. So for example, if I go to, let me close everything. So dashboard and dashboard slice. So let's go here and import maybe or pass, let's say for example, a dashboard ID, let's say two. And this will be the second argument. So dashboard ID. And actually anything after here, it does not have any meaning. So these won't be passed here. So only the first one, okay? Like this. So let's try just to console log the dashboard ID to make sure that this is actually works. I need, I need to hit refresh. And my machine started to become very laggy at this point. So let's hit dashboard. As you can see, we have the dash, uh, dashboard ID too. So what I usually do, I will pass an object here. So for example, this would be an object, ID2, name, uh, my name, age, maybe 80. So this will be the same thing here. So this is the arguments here. This is will be an object. You can destruct, you can do anything else. So let's display that. So this is how you pass arguments to the thunks. But there is actually something more, much more interesting that I will show you. So I hit dashboard, you will see this is the object and as you can see, hopefully we can see it. So ID to name and age. So this is how you pass some things uh, to the thunks. The second argument will be actually passed by the create async thunk or by the Redux toolkit itself. It contains a bunch of very useful stuff. The first thing is the dispatch function. So you can dispatch other actions from here, any action, Redux thunk actions or normal actions. The second thing is the get state. So let's try here to dispatch and let's import from users the slice then. Let's import the fetch users data and you can actually dispatch it here. And you can get the whole state. So this console log state. This is what I'm doing here. This is a shorter syntax. This is just to distinguish it uh, in the terminal. So we'll have a key state and the value of the state itself. So let's refresh. So go to dashboard, you will see this is the whole state. As you can see, users, dashboard, and upside map. And let's go to our Redux, you will see also the dash, the users have been, the users uh, action have been dispatched as well because we dispatched, we dispatched it here, which is very interesting. So these are things that you should uh, definitely check it out in this uh, function, in the, in the create async function. So that's it for now. And why?